just a little quick update how y'all doing y'all y'all you know holding it down during this pandemic i know i am i'm trying honey i am trying okay and that's what we're all going to keep doing we're going to keep meditating we're going to keep praying we're going to keep talking it out we're going to keep journaling we're going to keep doing whatever it is that you need to do doing your yoga going for a run detoxing your body giving yourself a uh doing a massage giving yourself a hot oil treatment i don't care do what you need to do okay it's about you okay you only get one life you only get one body unless you're one of them cabillion quadrillionaires that traffic organs but that's a whole nother story you get what i'm saying you gotta take care of you okay so transition into the news so i'm so excited but i'm so like apprehensive and anxious at the same time that I am going to be restarting therapy. Yes, I'm going to be restarting not physical therapy, mental health therapy, counseling. Now I did um, go to therapy, I wanna say 2013. It was after um, a very, very traumatic experience. I was pregnant and as you can see, I do not currently have children. So that was, it was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. And like to this day, I'm getting teary eyed now. To this day, I just have so many um, unresolved issues. I have a lot of emotions that arise when I talk about this situation. When I even think about this situation. Um, yeah, it's just a lot surrounding that. And it's a lot surrounding the other party that was involved. And that had just been like an ongoing um, situation that has been very traumatic over the past, what, seven years? So I say that to say this, it is never too late. Do what you need to do for yourself. Um, this particular, um, this particular app that I'm using online um if you get matched with the counselor of your choice you can choose to do just text and talk therapy you can also do um a video chat therapy um so i opted for a counselor of color and i opted for a woman now granted hold on y'all <laughs> okay i'm back um now you can choose the preferences they ask you the preferences in the beginning would you like a male or a female would you like a person of color would you like someone who specializes in um religious therapy um do you need a treatment drug and alcohol treatment um what areas of therapy that you want to focus on is it like trauma is it relationships is it family therapy is it you know coping with changes they just give you a whole rundown of the check boxes and you can check off what it is that you want to focus on now I signed up, I want to say a little over a week ago, and I am just now being matched with someone um, who fits my preferences. Initially, they were just sending me any old body, um, but you do have the option to decline services with that person. If you don't feel as though you're going to benefit from counseling with that person, you don't have to agree to um, have sessions with that person. So I declined six different times, and something in me was just like, don't settle don't settle don't settle because i really wanted to start last week so i was like okay um maybe i should just try whatever person they send me but no no this is my life this is my recovery and when i say recovery because i'm in a mental health field myself i'm a counselor so when i say recovery recovery just means any process from um which you're having progression and positive progression so you can progress you can have change but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a positive change you get me so yeah my recovery is starting from point a is how i like to simplify it and you're trying to get to point c d e f g and along the way, you are gradually becoming a better person emotionally, psychologically, physically. Um, so, yeah, that's recovery. It doesn't have to have anything to do with drug and alcohol because I do not have a drug and alcohol issue. I don't do drugs. Um, I never have. It's just not my thing. Um, I did used to drink. Don't get me wrong. And I used to be a low-key alcoholic. After that situation happened, I would wake up. I would literally have a bottle of, um, what is it, Don Julio? one of them tequila it was a clear tequila and i would drink from the morning i woke up 
to at night. Like, and my friends who have been close to me for years, they can attest to that. <laughs> so, yeah. Needless to say, you, you need to work on you when you feel as though you need to work on you. Don't let nobody tell you um, therapy is not the thing to do. Don't let nobody shame you because you feel like you need to go talk to somebody. If everybody talked to somebody, this would be an, a better a better place. It definitely would because you got to imagine everything that you go through circles around, stores around in your mind. And if you don't get it out, you might hurt yourself or you might hurt someone else. You ever heard of going postal? yeah that so this is just a little quick update i will i don't know if i want to keep track of it and update everybody how i'm feeling i guess if i need to vent then you know i'll do that but this is like something personal for me so i don't feel like i'm going to upload after every session or before every session or if there is you know like i don't i don't even feel the need to upload anything moving forward i just wanted to put this out there that I would be starting therapy because I wanted to normalize it for our community and you know what I mean because what's the first thing people say this is what I used to say when I first started going to therapy years ago like oh we don't do this we don't we don't talk about what we're going through we don't cry in front of other people um it's none of your business I don't want to talk to you about this because mind you the therapist that I had was a white lady a little white lady too her name was Polly. I will never forget it. And to this day, I still use coping skills that she taught me. And it's an ongoing journey. But I'm just so excited. I'm super excited. So if you guys want to know the app, comment down below and let me know. Oh, do y'all like my pigtails today? I love them. Even though my parts look a mess. But I love them anyway. So... Switches. <laughs>